So <clears throat> out here on a job today for a customer who is with Optus. Um, she's got fiber to the premises, FTTP. Um, now this customer has been having a bunch of issues on her MBN service um, since she's had it connected. Now we are at 13A of the street address and this is a duplex and there's a um, number 13 next door, which they don't have any MBN fiber to the premises on yet. Now this customer has been getting uh, extensive fluctuations in a speed. Um, I'm just on pin plotter at the moment, just uh, running a test. So I'm just going directly in to the MBN, right? Um, now, Optus have basically done some tests and told this customer that the problem is in her internal cabling and it's got nothing to do with their network. Now, she had two separate routers from Optus um, because they thought it might have been the routers. Um, and the speed is fluctuating lots within uh, every hour, you know. So um, I've checked the internal cabling, which I will show you in a second, and that's all fine. It's all within spec. There's no shorts, no opens, no crosses, because basically it's a category six cable that goes from here out to the living room where they've got their router connected. So um, I've just got this pin plotter just running in the background at the moment, just to sort of see if we can see any crazy uh, fluctuations in the speed or any packet loss um, dropping out. So, uh, yeah, that's that. So now I will uh, show you um, the test on the internal cabling so we can um, show you that there is nothing uh, a problem on that side, okay? Okay, so I've got a uh, Ethernet um, AJ45 uh, data cable tester plugged in to the socket here now. And I'm going to go up to the other end and just show you that the internal cabling is all testing fine. Okay, so I'm out here in the living room. Uh, you can see down there that red uh, Ethernet cable. That is this one here, which is going back to the socket. And if I give it a test, you can see that's passing. So there's no open, shorts, cross or splits on it. Flash the lights just say my battery a bit low. Uh, but that's what's going on there. Now you can see the customers kept her own meticulous uh, notes uh, of the dropouts and the times and dates they're occurring and the speeds that she's actually getting when these happen. Now you can see it varies quite a lot, you know, just uh, on the 15th or the 3rd, you know, look at all these dropouts and just in that short period of time there, um, she's getting all these different fluctuations in the speed, all right? So she's had these two routers sent out by Optus and um, both it's happening exactly the same way. Even when she takes the router from here and plugs it directly into the um, the MBN FTTP box and garage there, uh, she's getting the same sort of issues. Now, it's not a Wi-Fi thing because she's connected via Ethernet from her LAM port here directly into her laptop. Um, so that can sort of be taken out of the equation. Um, but yeah, so she's definitely getting some problems, but it's definitely not her internal cabling. Now, because this is an Ethernet cable, it's only one point, you know, the end of the one cable is here, and the other end is in the garage. So there's no bridge taps or anything like that that can occur on an Ethernet cable because it's got to be one cable um, per one run, you know. All right, so let's go back and see what's going on in the garage. Okay, so I'm going to run another test now. <clears throat> Basically, what we're going to do now, I've got the uh, my PC connected directly to um, UNID1, which is their data port coming out. Now, last test I did in Bucla, I got 59.72 and 17.81. Now, I'm going to run this test again. And this is connected directly to the FTTP box. It always hits down to 100 there, but then it falls back. So this is just to get our baseline here. Oh, 
All right, so that's what we've got coming directly out of the FTTP box. Now what I'm going to do is now we're going to go directly from here straight into the router and then we'll run another test. Now we've, I've got ping plotter set up on this and you can tell here the speed, well the, the a bit closer here, but you can see we've got, you know, 10 milliseconds, 28 milliseconds, 13 milliseconds, you know, it's, we're getting some variation on the time it's pinging out to google.com. Okay, um, and we've had one uh, drop there. All right, so I'm going to now um, plug the router in and we'll do another speed test directly in the router. Okay, so now I have her Optus uh, router um, plugged in at the back here and I've got a Cat6 Ethernet cable going into the laptop. Now, that was the last test we did directly from the MBN FTTB box. Now let's just run another test going through the router. <clears throat> now I'm not sure if I mentioned, but she's on a 50-20 plan here. So we're getting pretty much the same through the router. Then the next test we'll do, um, I'm going to take the router and we'll go back in to the living room where the it's all meant to be set up permanently and run another test there. Now, as you've seen in my test before, we tested that cabling um, from this uh, Ethernet port here out to the other one, which is just a Cat6 cable. These are brand new places. Um, so the cabling's all new, the sockets are all new, and you can see it past that test. So it's definitely not a cabling issue. This is some intermittent fault on this network. Um, and as you can see from the ping plotter there, we're getting, we are getting some variations um, in the uh, the pings out to google.com. So let's uh, do this other test out in the living room. So now we're in the living room. All right, TV, computer, da 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 da. So now we've uh, got sync again, all right? And I have my laptop now connected via Ethernet uh, directly to the router. So that was the test we got in the garage. Now let's do another one here. As you can see, it's, it's going to be the same again. So we're having no obstruction through the customer's internal cabling. All right, so we've only got one piece of Cat6 cable there. And uh, we tested that. I showed you with the, um, the Ethernet tester that we have no issues on that. All right, so you can see there it's pretty much the same. Now, because this is a um, FTTP service, it should be pretty smooth. She shouldn't be having these fluctuations. Now, did you want to say anything? Oh, and just so that it, it, obviously at different times of day, there, there's different speeds, but I'm getting very, very low upload speeds of 0.08 at time. So it's frustrating. I'm not able to use my internet appropriately. Yeah, there was something about the neighbours um, on 13 and 13 so the other thing is this my property is a duplex um it's the previously there was a house located at 13 cleo street sutherland that was knocked down and now there that's no longer an address um the addresses here are now 13a cleo street and 13b cleo street um i have concerns that perhaps the NBN supply to the property has not been um, created to supply 13A and 13B. Um, and part of the, the one of the reasons to confirm that is because in February I received a letter from NBN Co and that was addressed to 13 Cleo Street um, rather than 13A or 13B. Um, and when speaking to the neighbour, um, it seemed that it may not have been proper, properly um, uh, fixed when the, the duplex was built. 
or created. So um, I would very much like it if somebody would check the NBN database and the supplier to the property to make sure that there's two suppliers, one to 13A and 13B, on separate accounts um, as their separate properties. Because when you went to the NBN website, only 13 came up. Yeah, top. so when I, I looked on, obviously I can't contact NBN because NBN doesn't speak to customers, which is frustrating, for, especially for this kind of thing, which is one of the reasons I went to the Ombudsman because it seems that that's the only way that I can get around. But um, Optus is telling me that, um, that 13A has fibre to the premises, but... Um, when I looked on Telstra to compare plans, the only address that came up on theirs was 13 Clio Street. Neither 13A nor 13B Clio were in the on the Telstra website um, as as being available from private to the premises. So, um, but 13 Clio is. So that I think that's a bit of an issue there, and um, I'm not sure if that's impacting supply. Yep, thank you. Okay, so uh, as I think I did show you before, the customers made a pretty detailed list here, uh, different times and different dates of uh, dropout, well, speed fluctuations that have been happening. And you can see here, just like this one, um, it's gone from 54 to 16, you know, back to 25, down to nine, and then the upload speeds, you know, you've got 0.05 to 12.5, you know, so it's all over the place. Um, it's definitely not internal cabling issue. So what I would recommend of this is you're going to need to send out uh, an MBN technician. Um, they need to be a level two. Okay, your, your standard guys probably not going to cut it because this is an intermittent fault and it's going to be hard to find. Also, to the MBN box when they're mounted on the wall, it's, it's basically just hanging off, right? So haven't even secured it. So I will take you in there now and just show you how they've mounted this box, which means, you know, every time that moves, you, the cable's going to, you know, bend a bit or whatever. But there's all these little things that can sort of add up to become partly part of the problem. So I'll just show you what's going on with that box and how they've mounted it. And here you should teach them how to use, like, hit anchors or some other thing, not just put a screw in jip rock. That doesn't work. Okay, so in the garage, now, when I tried to take the lid off this thing, you can see it just sort of comes out. Look at that. They've just put a screw into the jib rock and they've had three goes at it by the look of it. Um, but, you know, come on, guys, get it together. Use a hit anchor or one of those, you know, the um, things that screw in first, makes it nice and secure, and then you can screw, you know, screw into the jib rock. Bit of, bit of tradesmanship would be nice. Hey, guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and I'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.